Frank, 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 man. I think what I'm trying to people's passions, hobbies, yeah. interests that they, you know, they've some of the things we pick up and we throw them away after whatever. Yeah. Maybe five minutes or a couple of years or, yeah. or and some things just stick with us. Yeah. Would you say it's music in general with you, or it's guitar as your passion, or? Um, yeah. If I is it, uh, you don't need to nail it. Like, yeah. but if I said that to you, what would you say? I will say, yeah. I think I can answer that. I think I've gone away from guitar as this kind of monotropic, fastest gun in the west thing. You know, I had when I was in my late teens. I were fucking scales up and down. I want to be yeah. Eddie Van Halen or something. And then I think a real next. What I was kind of I was kind of faltering around seventeen, eighteen. And I was like, this is cool. But then I was like, fuck. I'll write my own songs I'd sing them I don't care if I'd sing I'd sing them it's like oh this is a new level from me you know writing so that's when I started getting into I, I, I went past kind of guitar instrumental guitar into bands I started listening to like I don't know uh, Rush or Folds or Biffy Clyro and all these kind of bands that like they could play there was riffs there was compositions but there was also a song in it so I guess I guess to answer that I'd be like that's my my last few years has been still into guitar I mean the guitar the riffs are there and the, the melodies and all that but if you can fuse it with a great song mm. that's that's what I chase now when I'm because I teach a lot and I play cover bands when the world is normal and you know you do a full time it's a brilliant way to make a living but mm. it's sometimes I'm like I need to borrow away some time to just do that so if I was to answer you my hobby slash when the world gets back to normal my resolution is to get further into original music again you know okay. that's what drives me I don't see it and do scales up and down anymore yeah Okay, so it is. It's it is music, really, and the, in a way, the expression. Your tool, one of your tools, is guitar. The, yeah. This is the one you've kind of. Um, it seems like you've spent a lot of your hours yeah. in life so far. It yeah. is, it's kind of cool the way it's center stage there. Um, <laughs> Poser. Um, <laughs> but um, but so it's it's making music, whatever that may be. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and you know even uh, yeah, I think it's. Yeah, I played it and I mean, I know, back going back to the start, that, that energy thing, I've played cover gigs and every Christmas I'd be, some of the bands are playing, I'd get to play some great places like uh, the Convention Centre or whatever, and the RDS or all these places, and it is fun, there's uh, hundreds of people, maybe 2,000 people, and it's great, not, you know, it's great, but there's times when you, I get a chance to play my own songs or with a band in front of 30 people. Way more potent. Okay. It's way more potent. So there's something there, you know. Yeah. You know this idea of creative expression that um. Do you ever notice when you're not doing it? When you're say you're obviously studying, at yeah. the moment. Say when this, when you're. Do you notice when you're not when the creative expression is not happening? Yeah, I do. I think I, I'm in a bad state. The last two weeks, uh, uh, it's indicative of how balance there if I'm getting time I don't know if it's the, you know, the chicken or the egg uh, if I'm getting time and I'm looking after myself and all my mundane jobs are done I will write or maybe it's if I'm writing a lot then I find I'll float through my mundane jobs better mm. you know, I find it hard to chisel away time you know pick, I, I, I pick a couple of hours maybe Thursday Friday night I'll write or maybe Sunday or whatever and I find that really invigorates me I'm not as pissed off you know yeah and is it always a thing that you wanted to be in the band or yeah I guess being in the band is why I picked up guitar yeah, yeah. I, I play guitar I, 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 I you know I'm a decent level at guitar it's my full time job but people are surprised to say I only took it seriously at about 14 13 yeah um, I, I tried it when I was younger and uh I think it was just I sang a lot in karaoke I mean I'm pretty sure there's me singing Robbie Williams or something 
my mum's at home now <laughs> scrambling to find it to embarrass me. But <laughs> I'm like, okay, he's good at the, yeah, at the karaoke. Let's give him a guitar. And uh, so I had a, I think I still have a little nylon string guitar from Argus. Yeah, it was okay. I didn't really get. I didn't get the purpose. It was just this abstract idea. You make music or something. And uh, and then my pal on my road when I was about eleven or twelve picked up guitar and I was like, okay, go again. My twelfth birthday. I want electric guitar. I want to go mad. And uh, I had some. I think confirmation money and my parents obliged and got me a nice guitar. So still I was messing. And then uh, my mates in school you have this annual thing uh, where you play a talent show in front of six hundred people. Just like when you'd never played a gig that's loads of people yeah it's only people dawson uh so we we did that and i was delegated to uh, relegated not delegated relegated <laughs> to bass uh but i was just like okay cool but then i was like shit i was only playing like open strings and the odd thing was rubbish i think i have the video somewhere but uh you have to send me that yeah yeah, I'll, I'll, this. yeah, I'll, yeah. To, I'll, I'll ask me man will you, will you please yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the robbie williams yeah <laughs> That's kind of cost. <laughs> it's gonna cost me to keep it off the internet, maybe. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah. So we were playing, and I was like, "Oh shit, this is deadly." I was not playing anything, but it was like hundreds of people, the nerves. You know, you can. You know, it's exciting. It's a good nerves. Uh, and I was like, "Fuck, this is this gigging thing. This is brilliant." My young lad is learning now guitar to get. A, I think to get a taste of that live action yeah. feedback experience must. You know, things coming together, there is something in that kind of, you're getting a taste yeah. of what the reward for working at something. Yeah. I mean, there's one is um, playing well, but also getting a response to you playing well. It's, it's a bit of both, I think. I, think, I mean, there's this whole generation of uh, YouTube guitarists, and I'm on you, they're, I'd say most of them are well more proficient than me or whatever, but I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure if a lot of these people are getting the feeling of, you know, playing just a basic groove live, you know, it's yeah. great great you know even yeah so it's uh it's you know analogous to a chef you can make food and just fuck it in the bin or you can serve to people and you can like oh people appreciate it. you can share it you know do you think that people are uh they may be unhappy and they don't know why and sometimes it's because they're the creative expression whatever that form may take has been trapped inside maybe it's some fucking deep sorrow that needs a, a form of uh, way coming out or maybe it is just this art but it, it, they can't imagine ever expressing it whether it's through singing making yeah. music writing a poem drawing a picture I'm just curious about that uh, yeah. do you have any sense of that? I, I, I definitely think I definitely think um, I definitely think that that little segue from maybe when I was 19 or 21 was a tumultuous kind of period uh, really kind of dark. There was some you know, dark stuff uh, there at the time, and I was fucking writing songs, and songwriting uh, <laughs> sounds so okay, con contrived, but definitely there was some sort of lightning rod or something there with songwriting where I'm like, oh, there's some, there's some untapped little voice or aspect that society doesn't let you tap, and I, I, I think. I trained. I trained uh, briefly as a music therapist, so that was uh, that was always the forefront of my mind. When you're seeing people who are not trained in music, opening themselves up to a new way of uh, being, and I, I totally agree. It doesn't matter if it's fucking gardening or painting or anything. I, I I'm of the mind that people have to like access their whatever. I don't like to turn, but inner child or uh, learn to play again. Yeah. I, th I think it enriches everything. This this bullshit performative. Oh, that's for you. I think. There's a part in the brain that needs to be stimulated. I, I, you see, I, I fucking totally agree. Um, um, because I, th uh, I think when I, uh, it was definitely a time in my life when with work and kids and all that. Um, I was doing nothing but working and kids and life and the idea. I, I just didn't have wasn't any. I don't think I was even listening to music or writing anything. Yeah. And I, I, th I think it's a kind of an outlet like. It, it, it's like a kettle boiling. Obviously, trying to get to that is there probably is an artist in everyone. I'm just. I did. I hundred percent. I just would say there is an artist in everyone. It doesn't mm. matter. It's like, I love teaching guitar. Uh, just to on a, a quick aside, I don't care if, you're shredding, or if you're just parting away. If that gives you the buzz, that's, that's really important. Mm. You know, I, I, or anyone, not just music. It doesn't matter as we said, garden. I think. Just. Yeah, give your everyone give everyone. I think everyone. It goes far to say everyone is entitled to take some time during the week and do something. 
do something uh, creative. It doesn't matter. I don't know. I just think it's an important thing. But I think there. I think just my thesis on uh, people who've had uh, kind of mad lives and are, are prolific artists. I think there's a conflation with being not so stable and that equal in creativity. And I'm not so. I I wouldn't always be certain. I think when you look at these people's lives. I think whatever was going on with them allowed them to chisel away time to be creative. But I, mm. I don't, I don't think you. I, d- I certainly don't think you need to. Uh, it is into it is it is definitely has its correlation. But for anyone who was wanting to be an artist, you don't have to be mad. <laughs> no, you don't have to be mad. Fair enough. But I, I actually, yeah, I, I wonder that if um, if you don't have an outlet of some description, whatever the fuck it may be that there you have a higher potential for total frustration and yeah. madness if you don't but I mean I've no I've no evidence in that. Um so if somebody was to take up guitar yeah what sort of where would they begin? how do they not get frustrated? Any advice, top tips for anybody who'd like to take up guitar? Yeah, know what you want to play. So if you if you wanna you just want a finger style pick like Ed Sheeran, or if you want to, um, you know, I want to play guitar like BB King, or I want to, I want to play like John Mayer, or it doesn't matter. You want to play, you know what you want, I guess. Mm. Uh, you know, it's harder. Some students of mine are eight, and they, they just like, eight. <laughs> yeah, you know, they, they don't know what they want. They just like that thing on the YouTube video, that thing from TikTok, and I get it. Uh, uh, but know what you want if you want. Am I your oldest student? No. no. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. Sorry, I'm interrupting you. Who's yeah, your yeah, oldest? Uh, what? I have um, I uh, I haven't seen him in a while, but I have a student in his fifties. Okay. It's the most surreal. This is how cool the job is. I have a, I had a student who's in his fifties who picked up the guitar at fifty. A taxi driver from Finglas who wanted to play proper Texas blues. Right. And he really did it. He really walked for a couple of years and really was playing solos. And wow. So that's cool. You see people like in that. his fifties he started. Just like, okay, so there's hope for me yet. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But uh, no, no, yeah, hope for everyone. But uh, hope for everyone else, Frank. Yeah, yeah, go no, on, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, sorry, remind me of that uh, the, the the exact question. The, uh, I suppose it's yeah, getting getting yeah. Know what you want. Yeah. So, you no, know, you're gonna know the music you like. Is that what you mean, or I know what you want to either, do? Yeah. No, no, just have an idea. Just have an idea, basically. So that's vague. You don't have to. You know, teacher doesn't mind if if you're going to a teacher teacher doesn't mind or you don't have an exact idea but if you have something that you love mm. that's going to carry the practice because most of the practice doesn't happen in the room with the teacher it happens at home you yeah. just potter in for 30 minutes and go okay cool do X do Y do that check in and remember to do that but in them boring frustrating I'd say estimate between one to six months that's the median kind of time before you start getting it starts cooking you're going to need to like what you do mm. Okay. It doesn't matter. So if you're, I'd say, don't be self conscious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're a six foot five guard and you want to play Britney Spears, you know, just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, well, maybe not. Who's who's not the future of Britney? But uh, <laughs> but for example, just whatever you want to play. And if you if you're if you're fifty uh, and you want to play fucking technical rock guitar, just say it. Yeah. Because then your teacher would say, well, the, provided you go to a teacher, this is. Uh, Say all right. Well, you gotta do X. You gotta do Y. You gotta do a four or five days a week, just for ten minutes. You you know mm-hmm. you know just wherever you want. I guess I guess what I'm saying is it's hard. It's like anything. You have to be doing it for you know reasons that give you the fire. You know. Yeah. I think yeah. And what should you uh, um, aim for? Is there kind of like yeah? What should you aim for? What would be your feeling of like? Because I before I got you um to be my uh, teacher I I used to just play little bits but I never I really never got full songs and yeah. I, um, for me now that and the, <clears throat> you know getting the full song is a kind of at least well that's a, that's a kind of a a thing that at least I can pick up and I play that one song yeah. or that is that the way to go about in my mind that was the way to go I, I really think so even I keep mentioning the context I'm selling myself <laughs> I'm saying if you're with if you're with a teacher teacher is there just to keep you accountable if nothing else yeah to keep you accountable this is this person because no one else in your life really you know uh, I don't say that in a cynical way but I guess a teacher is somebody there who will have to care for 30 minutes you know now actually love our jobs but you know what I mean if you say to your mate or your missus oh, I'm learning this they'll go right they will genuinely go right on but they're not going to check on you they're not no. Gonna, no so I think 
either keep yourself accountable or if you have a teacher accountability. So you recommend getting a teacher realistically? I, I realistically say that or know what you're doing. So if you're got if um, some people are just brilliant, they just teach themselves. If you're gonna yeah. do that, just say I'm gonna finish what Radiohead creep. Let's say I'm gonna play through that fucking song. I'm gonna play it start to finish. My goal is to know the lyrics, play the strum part, and start to finish. And by six weeks time, I'm gonna do it and keep yourself accountable. Say yeah. There's a sesh next week, or there's a sesh study in a couple of months, my mate's birthday, he's having a gaff party, I will play at that. And in fact, I'm going to text my mate, I'm going to play at that. You know, this is very, (laughs) it sounds like an SPHE book, you just encourage yourself, you know. (laughs) No, but um, I have to say, by virtue of knowing you're coming on the Wednesday, and say I haven't had a chance over the weekend, I kind of go, all right, well, I'm going to waste the session, if he has to tell me everything that I was doing the previous week. So it is... In a certain way, I have that kind of feeling of um, oh, knowing you're here. Yeah, and yeah. it is keeping me accountable. Yeah. I'm kind of going, right, well, I'm paying, he's coming, I need to fucking work. Yeah. Yeah. I, on a side note, I wouldn't, like, chastise yourself for that because, like, we're all human. You, you, yeah. your, your motivation falters. Even my missus is a, a high-level classical violist in the Royal Irish Academy. She still has to go, you know, get her ass kicked every week. Yeah. Even though you, she is self sufficient, she still have to. It doesn't. It doesn't end, you know. Yeah. So whether, you know, I'd say, if you don't want to go to teacher, right on, cool. But say you'll play a gig, do an open mic night. You know, pop in on a Tuesday, a quiet one, maybe in a local pub or something, and just mm. make it real. I think or put up a video on Instagram or something. You know, make, don't make it something that'll never leave your room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Put it out there, like. Put it out there. Just yeah. fucking put it out there. Or, yeah, know, I'm not putting mine out there. Oh yeah. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> There is certain physical things about learning guitar. Yeah. Yeah. It t- does take, does it take, uh, would you know how much time? I know it does take time for yeah. your fingers to not be as painful. I think you're looking at, just so I'm not discouraging anyone, somewhere between four to 12 weeks. Four to 12 yeah, weeks. Depending on, like, if you're a teenager or if you're younger or if you're bigger, you know, it's, it's you got to really, if you don't mind, just show you. you gotta, yeah, yeah, go for the, it, yeah. The biggest thing, I guess, just the biggest thing, I guess, is that discourages everyone. It's just pressing the fingers down. Just forced you're not pressing them down they're like uncooked sausages and you have to really yeah put them the fingers perpendicular and force their buzzing and you know like this and you have to almost do I, I encourage my students to do almost press up motions hold for three seconds relax hold press relax and if you as mundane as it sounds if you show up every time before bed before you brush your teeth or before you go out the door in the morning I mean it's mundane okay Pressing these notes down, wherever the chord is. Oh, it sounds crap. Press, oh shit, this is sore, you know, three seconds, right? Tomorrow I'm gonna hold for four seconds. Pulses. It is a muscle, it is an art, but it's also a science, you know. So the left hand here, or if you're right handed like you're, if you're left handed like yourself, the fretting hand, I should say, yeah, uh, that's the biggest thing. And I guess just getting your, your sense of rhythm going, yeah, that's the biggest thing. So once you, once you get, once you get a basic handle on pressing down strings and strumming. I mean, for months I often just put one, two, three, four. Just like I start to develop an internal clock. I know, it's hard to explain. You're getting it. We're jamming. Yeah, yeah. we're get, I'm getting it. Yeah. It's like an internal clock or something. And uh, I guess that just strong, being relaxed and not stopping. So I say, like I say to my students, like, I learned this off an older guitar teacher. Um, uh, and uh, he he, uh, he was telling me uh, you know he te- I learned a lot from him he was like the fundamentals he was like this is the boss this doesn't give a shit it just keeps strumming so even when going from C to G oh shit you know well, let's say I make a mistake yeah. this doesn't care and I find like counterintuitive if this rhythm is non-stop this will catch up your chord hand will catch up so okay. basically getting the strength there and getting the, the, the most bare bones strum going really helps you get you out of the woods. I would look at myself and feel like, um, you were nice to me and you say, well, you're making progress, whatever. Sometimes I think, well, I'm making no progress. And then when I watch you playing, I kind of go, uh, well, I'm never, I'm never going to get to that level, right? Yeah. And I, to re- but what I'm saying is, I say you're talking and you probably would talk about some other guitarist and you'd probably go, fucking, they're light years away. Forever. And then that person would say the same and on and on. It yeah. seems to be endless. These when you go when you go down these roads, if you get if your interest is, let's just say your interest is is it taken even a slight bit, you're on the road really. Is, yeah, does, yeah. Is that true? Yeah, and I look at it now. I would have kind of I went to college. I studied. I did a degree in guitar and uh, 
kind of wrestled with it and I copped myself on. I was kind of like, oh, fuck, you know, he's, oh, he's shit hot, you know, and, you know, oh, crap, you know. But then I realised, I was like healthy about it. I was like, well, he sits at home and he does six hours. Kev, you do 45 hours a minute, uh, 45 minutes a, a day. Yeah. And that's okay too. Like, you, you're pretty good, you know. Uh, he wants to be in the upper echelons. But, you know, who are your heroes? You know, it, it's, there's no point in being su- super technical for no ends you know if your heroes yeah. are are like I don't know Bob Dylan then there's no point in you having to you know and I was getting more into songs and riffs you know kind of if you were to describe why you love music and guitar could you describe could you give an answer to that I guess I guess I was thinking about this and I've been thinking about it uh, I guess it makes for that moment it makes things very vivid it makes things very vivid and I think I robbed this from uh, that blind boy. It was like a, he's like when you're into something creative, time passes in the right way, not dragging on, not shit. Where did that week go? It's this right. It's like a pro- eating a proper meal or something, you know. When you when you when I'm at my laptop writing or I'm chasing this riff, but I haven't found that last note. That's the most. That's probably the most satisfying. One of the most uh, one of the most satisfying ways to spend your time, you know, uh, the immediacy, and. Uh, yeah, the immediacy and it's it's all yours. It's rich. It's just life. It's I'm I'm not the most mindful person. Sometimes you know I'm going from A to B. But if you if you want to carve some time out to play a few songs or a, or a, a writing songs, that's just like wow. That's just the most immediate you're gonna get in your life. I think this idea of being lost in, um, lost in a task. I I put it like that. Like do you, you know the like the start of the. Radiohead song, a few for a minute, I lost myself. Yeah. Do you think there is something in that the idea of who you are and what you should be and all of those things, that self is part and you're lost in just the task at hand, not yeah. where it can go or blah, 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 just the, the task. Yeah, I, I, and I don't think we do enough of that. I, what, I, I think a lot of psychologists and religions would call it ego, wouldn't they? You're, you're yeah. in your ego, you're like, oh, 28 year old Kev, somebody's son, somebody's teacher, somebody's this or that, but for, for, for a while you can shed all that and just be this channel. You're pulling something out from the ether. I, I don't like these hippie metaphors, but it really feels apt. You're kind of, you're just channeling something from the ether and that's a lovely way to be for some time. You're not, I'm not Kevin, I'm not, I don't have to be, I can write a song and a lot of my songs are not very technical, they're not, she hot. I don't have to pretend to be. Oh, this song better be tricky. In case my guitar students see it, you know, or you know what I mean. Yeah, it can be its own roar. It can be. You can be. You don't have to play small in a way. It's just the. That's kind of a weird sentence, but that's coming out of my mouth. Like, but you know this idea of, oh, being like another, or you know, whereas you can just be lost in the task at hand, and then whatever comes out can somehow. Uh, can be can happen, can't it? Where you know. Yeah, and it's funny you mentioned comparing to another. That seems in that state. I think that seems redundant. Mm. And I, it's a funny. Some words have escaped language, and I guess I haven't. It's probably some guy with a great intellect who knows the word, but uh, I find uh, that not comparing is a, an interesting piece to talk about because yeah, it's just for that while you're not comparing to another or anything, and I don't know what that is. It feels like a, I don't know. I just feel like you're really sitting into yourself. But not, you're sitting into, I don't know, your present moment, I say, is the best, before I wrongly describe what I mean. Well, you see, I think, in actual fact, when you mentioned, I don't think it's anything to do with intellect. And I think um, you, there isn't words. Mm, yeah. And, that, and the struggle of you trying to figure out what the right way to say it is, is probably more accurate than being able to define it as something and saying this is what it is, because it isn't definable. Because in that moment in time, you are as the task. You are as the task of creating, so you're. Uh, there is no you in that task. It's just the task and everything that the chemical makeup of what's happening, in a way. I put that to you. I guess yeah. I guess my. Uh, if I'm, I get this one writing a song and I get this one playing a guitar solo, uh, uh, and it's like, usually I'm you know I'm driving the car. Jerk on the brake, oh, Jay, why'd you do that? Okay, you're this, or you're late, or you're this. Whereas I find well, most of the time you're going through life looking at yourself compared to others. You know, why did you, why did that person do that to me, or why this or that? Whereas when eyes on the task is interesting because I find my whole 
focus of my existence is on the notes when I'm trying to solo. <laughs> so it could be sheer, it could be good some night, you see me, and it's like a, it's like a super hyper focus on just the notes. I don't know what's going on. I've just transcended that. And you're like, you're like, what, the next millisecond, what's this note going to roll with? Or if you're writing or playing a song, you're like, you're not really concerned about that. You're like, I just want to chase that. And it's almost like you're looking, you're not even, re- yeah, you're not registering yourself for a few fleeting moments. Mm. That's, that's nice. Oh, yeah, are you recording it? I'm recording, oh, yeah, I'm recording, yeah. Okay, great. Oh, cat will be good. Is that a tune there? Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Um, can I follow you? <laughs>